Before getting started, I want to give you an overview of the SP Page Builder so that you understand some of the functionalities and how things work here. So when you install it, you notice that you have a tab here that call, that's called SP Page Builder. When you click here, you can get to the pages from here, or you can go to your components, and then you go to the SP Page Builder. So to start a new page, you want to click on New. This is going to open up a page for you to work on. And right here, you have the rows. So when you click Add Row, it's going to add additional rows. If you want to delete a row, you just delete that and then you click OK. So when you put your mouse over here, you notice that it gives you several options, several layouts. This is just the different layout options that you have. So if you have a page where you just want just, you know, look something like this, you want it two columns, three columns, four columns. So this is based on the Twitter Bootstrap framework. And Twitter Bootstrap Framework allows you to, you know, create websites a lot faster, easier, and sim you know, simpler, you know, just by using some codes. So what they what they've done here is that they've done the hard work for you that you don't have to code anything. You just have to drag and drop. So let me demonstrate here. If you want just one column, this is one column. If you want two columns, you click you add another column. If you want three columns, you want four, you want two. So it changes based on what you click. So as you click here, it is going to give you these options. And then here is just a custom layout. So that's how you change. So let's add another row. And if you notice this anchor tag here, it allows you to move things around. So you can move things up and you can move things down. So if as you're designing your page, if you realize that you have content on certain part of the of the page and you don't want that to be there, you want it to be either above or below, then you can use this anchor tags here to move things wherever you desire for them to be. And the same thing too is you can do that for the columns as well. So let's let's go ahead and add three columns here. Let's say you're designing things and you want to move things around. Well, once you click on the add-on and you add something I'm just gonna add this here and then just you can have the ability to also copy just click to copy so I'm gonna move this you drag it over and I'm gonna be going over all you know extensive detail what those things you know are but I just wanted to demonstrate that you have the ability for you to drag things over and move things around just the way you want it. Now this is very important because there are times when you're working on a website and you realize that you want to move all the information, all the you know the content from the left to the right or from the right to the middle, however you want it to be. So instead of having to code that in, all you have to do is just to drag and move it over just like this. And it's very, very simple. And you can even drag it to, to another column. Copy and just drag it over. So this is responsive. As you notice, it automatically adjusts based on the size of that column. So that's how you move things around. And each column have its own option. So you can set the background, you can set the background color, you can set the font color, the, the, uh, the column pattern, you can choose the animation, have several choices here. You can choose the animation duration, the animation delay, and you can also add some CSS class. So if you know some coding and you want to customize this even more, you can just add uh, the CSS class here. But I'm not going to be talking too much about this in this video because I just want to get you to understand the core parts of it. And for those advanced coders, you can certainly you know take advantage of that. And you click the apply button once you've made the changes and you're satisfied with it. And then let me bring your attention to here, this plus. When you click on the plus, it's going to automatically add a new column. So you can either click on this plus or you can click on this add row. It's going to do the same thing. And if you want to delete something, you know, you click, you have two X's. You have this X here for the column X and you have the row, the column X and the row X. So if you click on this column, I'm sorry, this, this row X here, it's going to delete the entire row. But if you click on this column here, it's going to delete just the column. So, you know, you don't want to accidentally click, you know, on the the row when you needed to delete just the column. 
And the next thing you want to note here is that this cog here, when you click on this, this is the this is the the setting where you can you know set for this particular row. So let's say that you want to have a default setting for this row. You can do that here. You can set the title. You can set the heading. You can set the, the title color, the margin. You can, you know, section subtitle. So this is what is going to be to be used for the entire row. But that does not mean that you don't have the um, option to customize. You can still customize each individual column. But the row is going to be customized in a different way. And then the column is going to be customized. So if you want to add a background video, you can do that. Just grab a, a video, you know, put that in there. And you can do the same thing. And I'm, you know, I'm going to show you more detail how you can be able to add all those things in, you know, in future lessons. So that's where you can change the the row setting. So you just click the X to delete. And then now you have the options here. If you want to add, I'm sorry, you have to add on. The add on allows you to add different elements. When you click on that, you get this. A modal pop up here and you can click on general this is all the general elements you can click on slider this is all the slide and you click on social so you go to all so this this is everything here that you you know you can use on your site and it's pretty much just about everything that you need so I'm gonna be going through each one and showing you exactly how to you know to add things how to edit it and how to incorporate it on your website so it's very simple it's very basic but once you understand how everything works then it gives you a lot of flexibility for you to you know to be creative so if you don't know how to code if you don't know how to create websites that is okay because this is going to walk you through everything that you need and also we have some um, some templates that was been designed so I'm going to show you how you can utilize this templates and customize them to work on your website